Larry, let's start with you. I know you're up in Boston, so you won't be at the Radio City unveiling tonight, but what do you think about what Samsung's doing? Well, I think it's uh, great for our advertising companies. Uh, uh, there's nothing better than a, uh, a good product war, and uh, this one is uh, a wonderful one with, uh, with trash talk. And uh, I think it's going to be a war where both of the participants win. Uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of noise, but uh, these are very, very good products. It's a uh, huge market. It's growing very rapidly. I, I look at it as a Coke-Pepsi situation. Uh, and uh, both of those, uh, of course, survive in the uh, the cola market. Uh, I think right now uh, the, the the problem with Samsung is that uh, there's so much attention uh, being given to this launch. After all, you don't uh, uh, rent Radio City unless you have something to say. Uh, that uh, the logistical uh, implications of getting it right become very, very powerful for them. So all eyes are going to be on Samsung. But uh, the reality is that uh, both players in this market are, are going to win. Well, Larry, you know tech companies, they can't avoid the, uh, a, a massive party, and it seems that that's what they're throwing tonight. I also want to pull Philippe Lafont. He's the founder of Cotu Investments, a very well-known tech investor, much like yourself. He sat down and weighed in on the Samsung-Apple battle. Take a look. To me, the company has to take back the offense. I can't explain it why, but I feel the company has been a little bit put on the defense. Google and Samsung have been very strong competitors. Everybody's talking about Android. And Apple just needs to get back on the offense. And whether it's whether they how they choose to use their cash or some new products, something's going to happen. But at some point, Apple's going to take over, go back on the offense, and that's what we're looking for. But do you for. mean... Yeah. So, Alex, let me ask you uh, about uh, the, the Samsung phones. I mean, is this an important iteration of the phone, and does it tell us something about the Apple-Samsung battle? I think this is a very big launch for Samsung. This is their flagship device, and they're putting a lot of hoopla around this launch, just like they did last year. And the Samsung devices have been outselling all of the other Android devices that are on the market. And outselling the iPhone. And outselling the iPhone, and Android has around 75% market share within the smartphone ecosystem, and Android is, is the breadwinner within that category. Is there a point at which it's a Samsung Galaxy phone, not an Android phone, and that Google doesn't get the benefit that they thought they might get out of this, where they maybe start directing search, map, something else away from Google? I don't think that, that uh, Google would restrict that on their Android operating system. However, it is very important for Google and Android to have a marquee device like what Samsung is providing to that. So it's still good for Google. Larry, let me ask you, because you know, I know that when you look at the valuations of Google and you look at the valuations of Apple, it's something that you're interested in. What, what's your take on, on, on this battle, and at what point does Samsung start to worry you? For I, I know you're, you're in, in Apple. I don't remember if you're in Google anymore. But I wonder how, when this starts to worry you. Well, I, I think it worries me when uh, Samsung starts to uh, think about developing an operating system uh, to compete with Android. But I, I think at best we're uh, we're years away from it. Uh, Samsung has basically turned Android into a uh, a brand or uh, or two brands because Google's been uh, been advertising it. But it's now the uh, the lead device on the Android system, uh, and this helps Google until it threatens it. And uh, I don't know whether it's ever going to threaten it, but I think I have at least a two to three year window on this. So this is uh, really a win for right. uh, win for Google. It's a win for the advertising uh, industry.